Hello, students. How are you doing today? I am doing great, and I am just sitting here on this hand on this clock. As you can tell, the hand is moving around in a circle, and today I am going to learn more about clocks. Would you like to learn with me? Great! Uh-oh. This, kids, is a clock, as you might already know. This whole circle that has all the numbers and lines on it is called the face of the clock. What else do you notice about the clock? There are lots of numbers that go all the way around the clock. These numbers represent the hours on the clock. You will also notice that there are tiny lines that go all around the clock. There are 60 lines that go around the clock to be exact. These little lines represent the minutes and there are 60 minutes in one hour. What other things do you see on the clock? These little pointers are called hands. They do not look like the hands that we have, but these are the hands for the clock. There are two hands on this clock, and can you tell me if they are the same size? The hands on the clock are not the same size, and this is important because one of the hands tells us the hour, while the other hand tells us the minutes. The longer hand that you see here is called the minute hand. The shorter hand is called the hour hand. So the long hand tells us the minutes, and the short hand tells us the hours. Can you see the hands spinning around the clock? Great! The hands are spinning in one direction around the clock. This is called clockwise direction. The hands on a clock always spin this direction, starting at the 1 and going around to the 12. Maybe you can answer this question for me. Which hand moves faster around the clock? The hour hand or the minute hand? Great job! The minute hand moves faster around the clock. Let's do a quick review of what we have learned so far. The part of the clock with all the numbers and lines on it is called the face of the clock. The numbers that go around the clock tell us what hour it is. What do you think the little lines tell us? They tell us the minutes! Great job, guys! Now last but not least are the two pointers that spin clockwise around the clock. What are these pointers called? Correct, they are called the hands of the clock. The long hand points to the minutes while the short hand points to the hours. So we have the hour hand, and we have the minute hand. Awesome job, kids! We now know the basics of the analog clock. Did you know there is another type of clock that we use? Have any of you seen what they call a digital clock? A digital clock also tells us what time it is, just like the analog clock we learned about. On the digital clock, we see the hour and minutes in a little different way. The two dots on top of each other separate the hours from the minutes. The hour is on the left side, and the minutes are on the right side. Both of these clocks are showing 4 o'clock. The analog clock on the left uses hands, lines, and numbers to tell us the time. The digital clock on the right tells us the time as well, but only uses numbers. Wow, this stuff is way awesome! Today we learned about all the cool things that clocks have. Stay tuned because next time we will learn how to tell time with the clocks. Thank you for your help. Have a great day. Goodbye! Thank you for watching. Please share the video and subscribe.